so after four months worth of making I'd like to present to you my handheld portable Nintendo 64 gaming system calling it the N264 keeping to my um, standard design of red and black I'll show you the system I put in a fan to keep the system cool hence the two little holes here for the warm air to go out the cartridge port goes inside here there's a separate Z button shoulder buttons start, A, B, C buttons, joystick and D-pad and underneath because I'm using a combined rumble memory card uh, I've got a switch to select between the two features there's a headphone jack on off and here's a little multi-port card which I made the idea of which is rather than having any more buttons on the case I need to this plugs into the system so that you can then control the contrast, the volume and also there's a feature here for the um, recharging and also the AV so that you can play the system if you want to on the external television so what I'm going to do now is to show you how easy it is to put a cartridge in the system let's take Diddy Kong Racing so all you do is to hold it put the cartridge in and press it down and as you see the top of the cartridge is well hidden inside the system so that you don't see it although it is of course visible from the back removal of the, of the game is just as easy just take it out pop in a new one can't be simpler now I'm going to show a few little videos of the system performing. So let's get Doom running, turn it on. And there's evidence that the memory pack is working. This is a particularly good version preferred even to the one over the PC version. So now in the game, joystick works, shoulder buttons, see the system is nice and easy to hold, you can adjust your weapons, and the Z button which is underneath which fires. Okay, let's do another one. So what demonstration will we complete without showing Mario? It's me, Mario. So start the game up. Hello. It's a good game to show, for example, that the joystick works fine, the character stops when they should, and as you see he does, the forwards and backwards, and of course there's all the usual features, there we go. Let's start up Diddy Kong Racing. It's a nice little uh, racing game this one. Going to start this through on the course. As soon as the race kicks off, the jungle pack kicks in. I'm not sure if you could hear that, but I could certainly feel the rumble working. Oh, 
Quite a fun little game that's sort of on par with the Mario Kart. Wander all the way. And let's put this one on Donkey Kong. Okay. Very good game. <laughs> we only got about 55% of the way through it because frankly I found the bosses a bit too difficult. Got to the introduction part. One thing for note on this side is this is a joystick from the PlayStation one. The ones from the GameCube are actually deemed to be a little bit better, more precise. Anyway, get that sort of general idea of it. This is a button of course. I can't really even remember how to play this or work in this arm. playing isn't quite as good as it used to be. <laughs> anyway, let's turn this off. So in this video we're going to show this little multi function port that I made which uh, pops into the system here. I'm just going to turn the game on so that I've got something to show you. This is uh, Mario Party uh, another very good game. But we plug this into the port, keep it in place. We can then change the contrast and the volume as we need to. Uh, there's the recharge jack down here and the AV here. If I plug in the AV cable, pop this into the port. and then show you on a different screen the output. It come out quite so well on the camera but it's fine on the visual. Because what you have here is what you have here. As you see it comes out very slightly darker on this screen but it's still completely playable. What it means is that you can use this system as your uh, control system, uh, play the game effectively on the main television. This would be a larger one than this one. This is just one I use for modding work for checking stuff.